This is the home of the common Joe and the common Sally in the know, even more so than all those media talking people. Woo! You know, it's going to take off a few weeks. I was going to refuel the jets a little bit. But as they do, the common Joes and the common sellers in the know put me in the know and give me a little something that I just couldn't pass on. Eric Taco Marino, give me a little nugget about a guy by the name of Trent Wilson that just committed to Oklahoma, an out-of-state guy. And there's nothing really over-extraordinary about Trent Wilson except the fact that the connection that he has with Oklahoma to a certain someone else that put their foot in their mouth quite profusely. And I made a promise that every time something comes up that sort of calls them out, I'm going to call them out. So, let's talk about it. And running once again, it's the Outlaw Posse. Now, in effect, and today's four horsemen shout outs go to Sooner Legends Podcast, Hoss, The Bomb, and Alpha Dragon FTW. Mount up and saddle up, ready to go with today's college football invasion. And we also have a new Outlaw Posse member to deputize today, and that is Texas Torpedo 01 is now deputized and in the Outlaw Posse. And if you want to get your badge and get deputized and maybe get a random full horseman shout like they just did, as well as be the comment of the day, all you got to do is hit that join button, that subscribe button. It's not a two ninety nine dollars month. That's 75 cents a week. That's just a half a bottle of water for the outlaw. Now, the comment of the day goes to Killer Breeze. Killer Breeze says, it was UT, that being the Texas Long Turds, First series win in softball since 2009. It was their third win in the last 33 games. Oklahoma lost both games 2-1. to one. I think they're fine. Then he pauses. And he says, but I know what you're doing, and I like it. See, because Killer Breeze has been around for a while around me. He can uh, normally tell. He can't always tell. Because I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at hiding it even from him sometimes. But it was a little sarcasm and a little poke at some of the Oklahoma fans who were in a little bit of disarray because the Oklahoma Sooners softball team finally lost a series to somebody. And I was being a little sarcastic, but I'm good at straight facing, and people didn't really catch on, and they got pissed off at me a little bit. And uh, <laughs> so, yeah, just want to let y'all know that. But also, I can be reached on Twitter, a.k.a. X, at OCF Productions, if you ever got any ideas for the show or you want to be on the show now getting right to it here i'm gonna bring a little something something up for y'all real quick um yep here it is trent wilson has committed to the oklahoma centers a defensive lineman it says on here he's six foot two and a half um 260 pounds but i think that's went up to six three and 270 um, he's from Dr. Henry Wise High School out of Upper Marlboro, Maryland. As you can see, he's got four stars across the board, just about, except for 247 Sports. Now, this next slide I'm bringing up just expounds on the point that I'm about to make about a certain someone. And that is, um, as I said earlier, Trent Wilson hails from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. He's listed six foot three, 270 pounds. They upped him a little bit on this one. With an impressive six foot eight wingspan, making him a solid addition for Todd Bates along the defensive line, along with Lee Summit North's Missouri interior lineman Kamari Moore and Wagner Oklahoma edge rusher Alexander Shield Knight already on board in the upcoming cycle. The centers have begun to assemble a fearsome front for the 2025 recruiting class. So, you're like, well, what's so special about that, JPC? Well, <laughs> if you notice, two of those three that I mentioned are from out of state, right? 
keep expanding on that because what I'm getting to is a certain someone, and I'm going to keep reminding him because he opened his, his mouth and said that Oklahoma going to the SEC, they were going to struggle because they're a small state like they couldn't recruit in any other states, like they got all their recruits from Oklahoma. And we all know Oklahoma has a rich history in recruiting, not just Oklahoma, but Texas and California. And now with Brent Venables as their head coach, they got East Coast connections. And you're saying, well, uh, just because he coached out there on the East Coast don't mean he's going to come over to Oklahoma and bring him over there. <clears throat> well, you might have been right, except <laughs> you're not right, obviously. This is not like um, Oklahoma went into Texas, which they, which they do a lot. You know, it's not really that extraordinary for them to get a, an out-of-state player from Texas. But it's not even Texas. It's not even Kansas. It's not even Arkansas or Louisiana. Pretty close neighboring states. This is Maryland. And the certain someone being Colin Coward said that Oklahoma wouldn't be able to recruit out-of-state Oklahoma. And yet, they've got recruits from Missouri, Maryland, Texas, California, Florida, Carolinas. Sounds like someone was trial grasping. Sounds like someone was um, wishful thinking, throwing shit against the wall, wishful thinking. That being, like I said, Colin Coward. And uh, that's because Colin Coward, <clears throat> he is a... Pretty much got a man crush on Tebow, that being Linky Boy, a.k.a. Lincoln Riley. I do believe that he'd be first in line for a tea bag from Lincoln Riley if he could get one. And now it's just like every year that Brent Vimbles is there, I'm sure that in the back of his mind, Colin Coward really, really has a big disdain for Brent Venables because he has pulled his skirt down repeatedly for the last three years. And the moral of the story is, you know, if you're going to make a, a, a statement like that and say it in such a way that it's factual, that maybe you should check it before you make that statement. So that way down the road, not even that long down the road, just a year or two now, just three years out, every single year you've made to be looked upon as just an asinine loudmouth that you just say shit and hope it sticks, and it hasn't been sticking. And if I was Fox or whoever employs you, I would give serious consideration to maybe, um, I don't know, maybe even firing your ass. I hate to see anybody lose a job, but damn, man. Really? Oklahoma can't get any out-of-state recruits? Well, it looks like huh, the old jack-in-the-box has been exposed. See, oh, 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 um, Colin Coward reminds me of one of those transgenders that wants to be with a straight man. Um, want to be with a straight man so bad that I tell them that they're a woman. And then when you pull the little skirt down, what do you know? There's a jack in the box. And that's what Colin Coward is. He's a jack in the box that's been exposed and going get, to keep getting exposed. So if I was him, I would do a retraction and at least save a little face. And that's all I got to say about that. If you guys and guys don't mind, drop a little comment down there, a comment or two, like, share, comment, and subscribe on the channel. Please, please share me out to all your friends and get them to subscribe too. Also, as I said earlier, if you want to join the Outlaw Posse, it's not but $2.99 a month. That's just 75 cents a week. You'll get your badge, you'll get deputized, you'll get the random full horseman shout out as well as possibly be that random comment of the day as Killer Breeze was earlier. With that, I'm out of here. KMCA to all the other teams. Class is now dismissed.